Welcome y'all, it's Wes with DIY Food Plot Pro. Thanks so much for joining us. On today's episode, we are talking about something that we are fighting a very much an uphill battle against and a battle that many outdoorsmen don't even realize that they're fighting. It is something that is extremely invasive. It is something that is threatening to your forest and it is something that we all need to be addressing. So before we even get started, I wanna give a shout out to Brandon. He's one of my viewers. I shot an episode right here talking about cell cameras and how we use them. I wanted you to see these trees in the background and Brandon picked up on the trees in the background and he mentioned it in the comment. And I am tickled to death that Brandon commented on there and said, it looks like you've got a bunch of invasive trees behind you in this video. He is 100% right. As you can see behind me, these are tree of heaven. They're an invasive species that are starting to blow up across the country. They're native of Asia and they've come over and they're spreading like wildfire. So who gives a crap about a dang tree that's starting on my property, right? It's not a big deal, it's just a dang tree. There's been a guy around here that's been fighting this battle for two or three years. I'm good friends with him. He's a fellow food plotter. In all honesty, the, last, the first couple years, I was thinking, why are you even going through all this trouble fighting these things, okay? A couple years ago, I had one here or two. There wasn't very many here. Over that two year period, you would not believe how many of these trees have gotten started. These things grow at a rapid, rapid rate. Seems like they always start on the edge of a field, but then they start working their way into the woods. And I've got some great big ones in there that we're fighting today. And I'm gonna try to get rid of these. I'm going to use Garlon. I'm gonna use a chainsaw. I'm gonna use my backpack sprayer it, for any of the little ones. I've got my machete sharpened up. So this is a battle that if you have these on your farm, they're not super noticeable if you're not really paying attention to them, to be honest with you. It's one of those things that you don't even think anything about, but once you see one of them, you are gonna be blown away how many of these doggone things you can see that are spreading around on these farms, on these properties. I've got my long sleeve shirt on today. It's an old Sunday shirt. I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna fight the ticks and the snakes and I'm gonna get rid of these trees. I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm gonna do it. Okay, you see them? Look at all of them right there. They stick out like an absolute sore thumb. Look how thick all of those are down through there. So how do we find these trees other than the leaves? One big thing sticks out about these suckers. They smell something awful. This is a tree of heaven. That's what the leaves look like. That's a tree of heaven right there. You can see the leaf patterns. Fairly easy to break straight off. And when you break it, you're going to smell it they stink you get it all over your hands uh, i want to know if you guys have these in your area or if this is something that's just here in western kentucky so let me know comment below let me know if you have these tree of heavens out in your neck of the woods i'm going to get in here and i'm going to try to take care of as many of these things as what i possibly can but you can see i mean there's one right there that's leaned over stretching all the way out into the field, getting ready to start dropping seed. Almost all of these down through here on this field edge are tree of heavens. There's a couple great big ones, and but there's a whole, whole bunch of them down through here. I'm gonna show y'all how to get these stopped. You don't want these darn things. Looks like to me what's going on is they're growing at a much more rapid of a rate than what say your oaks are. Okay, here's a perfect example of what's going on. You've got a nice white oak right here. And then you've got these things that are all right in here and they're, they're just easing out. These two here are tree of heaven. What's gonna happen is that white oak one of these days is gonna fall. Notice, is there any small white oak or red oak in here? All these things are tree of heavens in here, just about. There's a ton of them in here, especially up there towards the edge. But you don't want to have your good timber for wildlife taken over by these stupid things that are absolutely zero count to you that are nothing but a headache. Okay, so we've got Garlon 3A here is what we've got. This is one of those issues where the label's really tricky to read. From what I understand, it looks like it says this is completely undiluted. I'm not gonna put it undiluted. I'm gonna mix it 50-50 with water. All right, I've got my sprayer full. Put about a gallon and a quarter in there. And I already had their other 
rest of it mixed up with water. It ain't gonna be a lot of fun. It's only 90 today. So I'm gonna try to get this done before it just gets absolutely miserable hot. <laughs> So I've made a small pass through here. You can do this pretty quick. I put the backpack on when I'm chainsawing because I don't want to cut one off and accidentally forget about it. So I cut it down, spray it immediately. Two good tips for you. Try to do this in the cooler part of the morning, late of an evening, because this is freaking hot, hard work. And the most important one, don't put three gallons of chemical in your sprayer. Start with maybe a gallon, gallon and a half, because it takes a long time. I've treated a bunch of trees already. It's already looking a lot different i'm sure haven't been out here you can see i've got a ton of them down already and i'm just getting started good you look up in there it looks a lot more native there's still a few you can see this one she glow they glow look how much more light that was what amazed me when i was cutting these down how much light was going in those woods those things um are super thick so when you cut them down you're going to get a ton of light exposed okay one quick note to mention this tree here black walnut i believe it looks very similar in the leaves to it and if you're out here just whacking away black walnut obviously has a good timber value you don't want to cut i wouldn't want to cut those down but the leaves look real similar of that of the tree of heaven one way i've been able to find a difference is you just break one of these small things off and then smell it and it's got a teetotal different smell than that tree of heaven that tree of heaven stinks what i'm going to do i'm going to cut these then i'm going to take the front end loader and i'm just going to push them back on the edge of the woods there okay these two behind me that are all kind of tangled up are two big tree of heaven <laughs> see how much more light is on this woods now now that those two big ones are gone and those are invasive species that are completely useless for us as deer hunters completely useless for the white tails now we put them on the ground we're treating everything around it hopefully going to try to get rid of these things all right we got one more big one to cut up here <laughs> I believe these two are tree of heaven and they've got to be big big boys the issue with it is those are going to be pretty dangerous to cut you can't see it but there's a big limb it's tangled in a lot of big trees and i'm just afraid to make that cut that those are going to get all tangled up in there and no telling where it's going to go so i'm going to show you what to do if you don't want to actually fall the tree what i'm going to do i want these two trees dead and i want them dead sooner rather than later take my machete and I'm gonna work around this whole tree. Okay, so all I did, I cut all the bark all the way around this tree. Then I cut deep slats in it with my machete. This wood's really, really soft. And then all I'm gonna do, a good chemical dose. And I'm gonna spray this pretty thick. This is not as good, in my opinion, what I was doing the stump cutting, but this is a lot safer for me. That I'm just taking that chemical and I'm dousing those spots. I'm putting it on thick. Okay guys, we're done. At least all that I can see in here. We got all these tree of heavens cut. Um, that's what I'm talking about on these black walnuts. You can actually see the walnut up there. See, right there, it's a black walnut tree, I think. My, I'm not a forester. I believe that's what those are. This one's the same thing. I've checked it 57 different times thinking that that's a tree of heaven, but I think that's a black walnut. 
Now these here are tree of heaven, but that's that was big trees that I treated in the very back. I just got through treating. We have done real good here. I'm gonna take a tractor, push all these things back in, but man, what a difference that we've made in this forest right here. Thank you guys for watching. Please smash that like and subscribe button.